Number one issue that we want, uh, we want to give our opinion on is the invitation of the presidency. This is the, the president and the deputy president to keep off Meru County. We categorically refuse that position yes. 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 as a church. Yes. We want to ask the president of Kenya that Meru is part of Kenya. Yes. And the politicians, when they were telling him and the deputy to keep off, they never consulted us. Yes. That is not the position of the people of Meru. Yes. It is the position of our few elected leaders. Mm -hmm. And the note we elected them. Yes. They are not our bosses, they are our servants. Good. The power belongs to the people. Yes. And they never consulted us to, to tell the president to keep off, the deputy president to keep off. We want to emphasize that Meru is not part of Uganda. Yes. Meru is not part of Tanzania. Mm. Meru is part of Kenya. Yes. Yes. And our president, whom we love so much, and we have followed and supported for years, mm. he is the most popular politician in the land of Meru. Yes. The last election, people of Meru gave him almost 400,000 votes. Mm. So Meru endorsed him, and we invited him to take care of Meru to be our president, yes. to be our national father, yes. and our national figure. Yes. So those who are telling him to keep off, we don't know what is the agenda. Yes. Which agenda is this that is making our leaders to tell the president and the deputy keep off, leave the business of Meru alone. We refuse that position and we invite them to come yes. and be together with us. Yes. Yes. Is that our position, servants of God? Yes. So we invite the president to come and uh, we'll see what is happening in Imeru. And in the same token, as servants of God in Imeru County, we are seeking audience with the president. We want to say to them, as a church, that he may hear us and they listen to us. And they know that things are not as he has made to believe, if he has ever believed, by what has been said by our politicians. Number two... There is a, there is a retro, a retro problem between the governor and the deputy, pre, deputy governor. But uh, according to us, this crisis has not gone beyond. It does not warrant the measures that our political leaders or political class are recommending, yeah. like impeachment. Uh -huh. As a church, we reject the spirit of impeachment. Amen. Yes. It will not solve any problem. Yes. It will make Meru stagnate. Yes. So our governor is doing well, and we want to take that responsibility today as a church yes. to unite our governor who is a bishop yes. with, his, with our deputy who is a leverant. Yes. We are going to say to them, yes. after this sitting, we are going to seek audience with our governor. We will seek audience with the deputy and governor. And the Dandy meeting, we are going to say it within both of them. Yes. Yes. And where there are issues, we are going to iron them out. Yes. So we have not explored all avenues of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. There is still room to make peace. And it is not as bad as it is. We are 1,000 plus of us. Bishops, leverence, pastors, prophets, and many others. We are all gathered here because of our clarion call. There is too much noise in our county, and we have come to give the other opinion. Because there is a narrative that has been uh, taken to the marketplace and beaten quite too far. And uh, if people don't hear the truth, they might be believe a lie. So what has been said, it is not necessarily the situation in Meru. There is uh, small, small problems here, which we are calling as a church teething problems. And uh, they don't warrant the noise that we are hearing round about as a church. Yeah. So we have come here to make a statement that the residents of Meru County may hear and the residents of Kenya may know exactly what has been happening in Meru. A thousand bishops and the pastors can tell you where the church is and where the majority of the residents of Meru are. There is no bishop here or a pastor who do not have 
more than 100 or 200 members. The are bishops here who have uh, churches that have thousands and uh, many thousands. Pastors with hundreds of people. And I don't believe there is a pastor here with less than 50 people. So Mary is here and the Mary is well represented. So our MCAs, we respect you. Learned men and the women, we know you have been coerced by, by political parties. And we, the, we should, you should also know that uh, these members, members of Meru County Network of Pastors, we also belong, we have political parties linings. Yeah. And we don't accept the position that the political parties have taken to withdraw support of MCAs yes. from the governor of Meru. Mm -hmm. Because we believe the Kenya Kwanzaa, which is the ruling coalition, of our president. Our governor joined that coalition. Governor is in Kenya Kwanzaa and she declared it officially. And when she was elected, she went to seek audience with the president and she declared she would work with the president and she has never contradicted the agenda of the president, development of political agenda. So we don't know why county, county level political party leadership has taken that stand. So as a church, we don't accept that stand, and we want to ask our members of county assembly to retract and work with our governor for the common good of our county. Yes.